We are live at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona for preseason action in which the Denver Broncos come into town to take on the Cardinals. And we finally have the return of NFL football. It has been 180 days since we saw the conclusion of Super Bowl 57 with the Chiefs hoisting the Lombardi once more. But now, every team is looking to build their own path to glory and much building must be done with these two squads. Both the Broncos and the Cardinals finished near the bottom of the league just a season ago, and they are hoping to take the steps to find greater success this year. And it all starts here in the preseason. For the Broncos, they restart the rebuilding process with their new head coach, Sean Payton, who they gave up a first and second round pick for. For the Cardinals, they start from the very bottom as they also have a new head coach, but a coach who has never coached before. They brought in Dylan Marlin this offseason and he has a tough test ahead of him. Questions at QB, players without defined roles, injuries, contracts, all of this, and he has to figure it all out in Arizona. And it's time to find out if he can, as in week one of the preseason, our game is on. Denver kicks it away, Rashad Fenton back to receive. He takes out from his own end zone, moving up field. And he is met after crossing the 20, sent down by multiple defenders. And to start the day, here comes the starting unit for the Cardinals, led out by rookie QB Clayton Toon. He is being considered to be the number one QB for the start of the season, with Kyler Murray still out on that torn ACL. And hopefully he puts together a solid preseason coming off his senior season at University of Houston, which he threw 40 touchdowns and over 4,000 yards. They start their first drive on the 21. He gets... Ball snap, Toon dumps it down. He finds the running back who stopped quickly and after being very active in his most recent draft, Arizona will be looking to see who can carve out big roles on this team. They ended up losing one on their first play. Now it's second and 11. Toon gives to Connor, up the middle, fighting, and he is brought down quickly again. This time a positive gain, however. Only two off the run. Now it is third down. Still needing nine to convert. Toon gets... Looking, throws it short, finding Connor out of the backfield, and he is dragged down by Jewel after getting the first and reaching the 35. That's three straight touches for the former Pro Bowl runner. The catch number 13, avoiding the three and out. They go pass again. He throws left, finds Ertz, who is down with the catch. Up to the 44 now, now a second and one. They give to Con. No, wait, no, it's a play action. Toon loads it up towards the sideline. And this drifts out of bounds. He was looking for more on the deep crosser. And that incompletion gets us back to third down. Still needing one for the first. Shotgun look. He gets. Gives to Connor. Good blocks. Following Wilkinson. And he's finally dragged down by the safety. Simmons after crossing midfield. Great job by Wil Wilkinson to get downfield. But the seven-year running back is getting very involved early. That run ended up going for eight. Now on the Bronco 46. What will they do? They decide to go run again. Singleton in quick, and he holds on to bring him down behind the line. Great speed off the snap to get in there. That loses two. Now it's second and 12. Toon takes. Decides to dump it short. And he finds Connor once again, who eats a shot but holds on. Six on the grab. Another six gets them a conversion on the Denver 41. They snap. It's a blitz. Toon gets it off. And it falls incomplete, just overthrowing Pascal on the underneath route. A lot to take from that first Clayton Toon drive as they trot out the kicking team now. The veteran kicker, Matt Prater, testing his limits from 58 yards out. His kick is up, and it is good. And he still got the leg. Cardinals get the first points of the game with a near 60-yard boot to get the field goal. And now out comes the Bronco offense to respond. And they are let out by none other than the former Seahawk, Russell Wilson. After being brought over in a blockbuster trade in March of 2022, he had a very rough first season as a Bronco, and he's hoping to rewrite the script heading into this new year. They start on their own 25. Two by two look. Williams joins Wilson in the backfield. They snap. Wilson rifles left, and his first throw is a completion to the 30-year-old receiver, Tim Patrick. A great play to start that pitch and catch. Picks up 12. Now up to the 37. They go run. Williams patient finds a hole. And he's closed quickly after getting up to about the 40-yard line. A very solid run there. That is four on the ground. They go tight on second down. Wilson gets. Stepping right. Throws it short. Has Williams. And they close the space early to bring him down short of the sticks. Now it is third down. Six yards from midfield. They only need two for the first, however. They decide, handoff for Williams, 
and they stop him behind the line. First one in was their free agent pickup, Kaiser White, and he's lo looking to step up to be their linebacker of the future in Arizona. He read this one quickly, bolted to the ball, and stopped him short. Arizona offense takes back over now. They start on the 15. Brown, the lone receiver out wide left. Toon gets. Fires short. And he has Speedy Moore, who's met just shy of the marker, but a nice gain of about nine to start the drive. That gets them up to about the 24. Pascal now joins the left side. Ball is snapped. Toon to the flat. And Connor falling through Sertan, trying to save the play. He has to be willing to go downfield with it there. It goes down as a loss of one. Needing two, they move Ertz out as a receiver. Toon gets the snap. He rolls out right, sets, slings. He has Pascal up the sideline, across the 30. Defender coming in, he's dragged down from behind after reaching the Denver 22. Now, how's that for downfield action? They went simple with the slant call, getting Toon out of the pocket, letting their speed work for them. Just a great play by the rookie to find the right spot and make the perfect throw for the big gain. That pitch and catch went for 55 yards, just outside the red zone now. They go Connor, up the middle, and he's brought down after a short game, maybe getting three out of that one there. Just inside the red zone now, our first quarter nearing the end. They go with another run, and another quick stop from this Bronco defense. Josie Jewell in on the play this time. Now it is third down, needing six to convert. They go empty. Toon gets. Throws it quick. Has it. And he's in. It's the former Eagle. Zachary's in on the score. Touchdown, Cardinals. And who said only the young guys have something to prove in the preseason? That's him saying he's still got it. Great play all around here. Toon takes advantage of the linebacker stepping up, sneaks it over them to his tight end. And he dives through lock to cross the goal line and get his team six. What a play. Toon celebrating. Prater's out for the point after. His kick is up, and it is good. And the massive catch from Pascal pays off as they extend this lead. The Cardinals 10, Broncos 0. Denver now gets another chance to respond, hoping for more than the punt they managed last time out. Let's see if the former Super Bowl champ can find a way to get it done. They start on the 25 once more. Fullback is in the formation as Wilson steps up under center. He gives to Williams. He's met quickly. Amazing one-on-one -on -one tackle from White to wrap him up there. That limits him to just one on the carry. Now it is second and nine. They go back-to-back -back runs. Bounces inside and nowhere to go again. This time it's Isaiah Simmons in on the stop. No gain there. Now it's third down. Needing nine to avoid the three and out. Wilson gets looking. Pressure, and he goes down. Sap on the play made by pass rusher LJ Collier. And more of the same frustration for this Denver offense. They had a double team on him, but he found a way to split the two, get to rest before he escapes, and force the punt. 20 seconds left in the quarter, and Cardinals take back over, starting seven yards from midfield. Toon gives the counter, looking for a lane, and Singleton brings him down after a short, short gain. Continuing to keep him in check as that brings us to the end of our first quarter with the Cardinals holding a two-score lead over the Broncos. We start our second quarter with the Cardinals driving, standing on their own 44, second and eight. They give to Clement, moving left, cuts up field, falling forward, and his first carry of the day goes for a nine, and that is enough for the first down. Now across midfield, play clock winding down. They go back to Clement. He runs over Moss and stop before he can get much after, but a nice show of strength from the seventh year back. That run went for two. Now it is second and eight. Toon drops back. Dumps it down to Clement. He goes past the marker. And they get him down after he makes a move and gets them inside. The, up to the 34 and his first catch of the day goes for 11 new set of downs now four receivers set tune gets it fires and it's intercepted brought down immediately but that is bronco ball play made by the former eagle alex singleton a little shaken up he is walking gingerly off the field but that was such a poor ball from tune there that means denver takes over starting on the 28 second unit now in for them snap goes to their backup jared stidham and he 
Decides to go deep on his first throw. Right sideline. And too far wide. That one falls out of bounds. Great coverage by Matthew anyways. That incompletion means second down. Still needing 10. They give to Perrine. And he has nowhere to go. Brought down behind the line by Adimu Keiji. A great play by him. That means a loss of one of the previous play. It is third down. Needing 11 to keep the drive alive. Stidham gets the snap. Pocket collapsing. He's rolling out. Avoids one and tosses this out of bounds. That's a three and out for Stidham's first drive of the day. Second unit for Arizona now enters. And now the veteran Colt Matoy takes the reins at QB. Still early in the second quarter. They start on the 32. Clemente alone back. No, they go play action. Great coverage downfield. McCoy takes off. Takes the hit and holds on. And that is a solid scramble to get something out of nothing. Seven on the run. Now on the 39. This time they do give to Clement. And they get to him quick. Great play by Purcell to shed the block and halt his momentum. That means it is now third down. Standing on their own 40. Two yards gets him the first. McCoy gets. He's sliding right. Slings it right. And he gets it. He comes away with it. Greg Dorch comes away with the reception and an impressive play from the 25-year-old receiver. What a catch. Let's take another look at this. McCoy puts it directly in between the corners and his man did well to close the space and bring it in. Now in the Denver 43. Ball is snapped. He fires left. Has McBride turns the corner. Pushes off Moreau as he heads out of bounds at the 28. A nice first touch for the second year tight end. That catch went for 15. Halfway through the second quarter. They give to Clement. No, another play action. McCoy rolling right. Has options, but decides to take it himself. And takes the hit. The ball comes out, but quickly bounces out of bounds at the 20. Nice play by Locke to put on the hit. But that's why as a quarterback, you have to avoid these hits. Got away with them. One there. Now it's a second and two. They go back to the run. And he is brought down for reaching the 11-yard line. Very solid production from him so far today. Averaging over five yards a carry so far. They are now inside the red zone. Standing on the 11. Two receivers left, one right. They snap. McCoy rifles left. And he can't come away with it. He was looking for Wilson. Mashed up with Smith in the end zone. Now they decide to bring in three tight ends to the formation. Clement the lone back. McCoy under center. They go stretch right. Has blocks. Moving wide. Turns the corner. And knocked out of bounds by Williams at the 5. A touchdown saving hit there. Now it is third down. Four yards gets the first. Five gets the score. He drops back. He slides right. Throws as he's hit. And nearly intercepted. Both Moss and Browning had a shot. But it was Jordan Jackson who forced the bad throw. And Arizona is going to go for this fourth down. They go lone shotgun. McCoy gets. He throws it right. Touchdown, Trey McBride. And that is back-to-back -back touchdowns for their number one and two tight ends. One of the key things they hope to see this year. And what a play that was. McBride runs a nice whip route to get some space. McCoy puts it on the money. And he just has to follow him for the score. What a combination those two are, could be this year. Prater for the point after. His kick is up. And it is good. And with that... The Cardinals have extended the lead to 17 as Denver is still scoreless. Now Stidham leads his guys out for the second time today, looking for much better than his last drive. They start on the 25. Three tight ends on the line. Stidham up under center. They go run with Perrine. And he's met quick, brought down after maybe one on the play. Not the start they wanted there. They decide to switch to a shotgun look on second down. Beatty subs in, finds a hole. And he is brought down by Thomas, but there is a Bronco shaking up. It's the fourth-year receiver, Marquez Callaway. They're checking him on the sideline. Hopefully, he can return to this game. After the five-yard carry, however, we are now at third down. Still needing four to convert. They snap. It's a screen. Perrine has it. And he's tracked down by Sachere. And he has stopped behind the line to force the fourth down and the punt. A great play by him. That means four minutes remaining in the half as the Cardinals take back over on offense. McBride lines up as a receiver. They start with a give to Clement. Hole middle and Locke flies in to send him down at about the 35-yard line. They get seven yards in the initial run. Now they move McBride back to the line. McCoy gets. 
Fires, comes away with, no, no, it's knocked out. A big play by Justin Simmons to force the incompletion. That means it's third down, needing three for the first. McCoy is ready. He gets, sets, launches, going deep for Smith, and he comes down with it, holds on through the ground. A massive downfield grab for the third year undrafted receiver out of Iowa. And plays like these are what you need in the preseason. McCoy puts this in the best spot for Smith to use his body, but he also does well to hold on through the immediate contact and brings in the big catch. Officially, that reception goes for 42. They are now well inside Bronco territory. That's play action. He takes a shot, and it falls incomplete. He was looking for Dorch in the goal line, but some great coverage from Denver there. That is a chance missed by Arizona. Now they move to second down. This time they do give to Clement, who gets wide right. Jukes inside, and he's brought down to the marker. They say he gets just enough. A good move in the open field moves the sticks for them. Now standing on the 13, they go back three tight ends. They go stretch for Clement. Blocks, met by Williams, and the Cavalry arrives, sending him down after getting to the 10. And that will bring us to the two-minute warning with the cards aiming to punch in another. Final two minutes of the half. We have a second and seven. Wilson, the lone receiver, wide left. They snap. McCoy fires, and he has it! Touchdown for the rookie, Michael Wilson! Way to make an impact, young fella. He blew by Moreau off the line, and McCoy found his man wide open in the end zone for the score. Simple as that, but he had to go up and get it. Prater comes out now for another point after. His kick is up, and it's automatic. He is good, and Arizona has stretched the lead once more to 24-0. Prater kicks it away. Callaway is back to receive. He takes and decides to kneel it down for the touchback. That means Stidham and co. get the chance to run the two-minute drill to put up some points before half. They start on the 25. Perrine joins Stidham in the backfield. They snap. Quick fire. Troutman has it. And he holds on. Breaks the tackle. Sent down after reaching the 30. They run back to the line. Going no huddle now. They decide to finally snap the ball. Standing tall. Fires middle, and this ball is knocked out. A nice play from the fourth-year defender, Isaiah Simmons. A player looking to find his role on this team. That stops the clock, but it's now third down, needing fire for the first. Sidham gets. He throws it left, and he has Callaway dragged down at the 39-yard line. They continue to save these timeouts, going no huddle. Running back to the line. He handles the snap. Looking, going left again, and it's Callaway again who holds it another. Back-to-back -back catches from Marquez after the injury earlier. They are now past midfield. They snap. Stidham, patient, fires, and he has KJ Hamlin who is brought down quickly. And now, finally, I believe, yes, Sean Payton finally calls for the timeout. 46 seconds remaining. A very solid drive created by two great grabs from the returning Callaway. Now up to the Cardinal, 36. Inside field goal range. Stidham gets. He throws it short. And he has Perrine who is brought down inbounds. And they decide to let this clock run a bit. And Sean Payton eventually, yes, he finally burns that second time out. They should be looking at an almost guaranteed field goal. But can they get more? It's time to find out. 35 seconds remaining in the half. On the Arizona 26. Another pass call. He dumps it down to Perrine. And an incredible open field tackle by Garrett Williams. Keeps him in balance, keeps the clock running. They save the timeout, letting the clock run. They snap it with six seconds. Stidham, quick, left, finds Beatty. And he falls out of bounds with two seconds left. And I think they forgot about that last timeout, honestly. But here comes Will Lutz to get the Broncos on the board from 38 yards out. His kick is up, and it is good. That we will not be scoreless for them on the half. That means going into the break, the score reads Cardinals 24, Broncos 3. A very impressive first half showing from Arizona. Now we have no halftime report during the preseason, but our play of the half has to be from the middle of the first quarter. This play here, exactly the type of plays you want to see from your rookie QB. Buying time on the rollout, setting the feet, perfect throw, and Pascal did an amazing job getting the most out of it. Our second half begins as Prater kicks us off for our second half of action. They have a man back to receive. 
he gets and decides to just take any in the end zone. That is a touchback, and that means here comes the Denver offense, and they need to produce more than they did in the first half with a mere three points to show for it. They start the drive on the 25. Samaje Perrine stays at the back alongside Stidham. He gets patient in the pocket. Throws middle. He fights Callaway again, who escapes the hits. Past the marker. And finally down for reaching the 25. And he has made some plays since returning from the earlier injury. This is just incredible fight from that young man. He breaks the tackles after a dangerous ball and gets enough for an extra 10 or so. And that moves the sticks. 14 on the catch. Now up to the 39. They go hand off Perrine. Not a lot of room. And he's sent down by the rookie linebacker Papo near the line. After a short gain, now it's second and nine. They decide to give to, but no. Play action. Fires right. Finds Troutman, who goes out of bounds. They rule this a catch, but his momentum carried him so far back. They say no gain. So a pass for one and a catch for none. Gets us to third down. Still need nine to convert. Stidham gets. Screen in the hands of Perrine. Moving wide. And brought down by the third rounder, Williams. And that will force a fourth down and the punt. Another big third down play from him. Cardinal offense makes their way back out, and Michael Wilson will look to continue to make an impact after he made that big end zone grab to put up six. We now see Jeff Driscoll take over the offense as the drive starts on the 29. Williams the lone back. He gets it on a stretch, and a great open field stop halts his first run of the day. A great play by him. Arizona switches to a shotgun look now on second down. They snap, handoff, up the middle, met by Locke, reaching forward. And they give it to him. They say the extra effort got him enough for the first. An effort like that is what you want to see out of your running backs in the preseason. Now on the 39, they go three receivers left. Driscoll drops back. Fires. He finds his tight end McBride who holds on for his first completion of the day, which goes for six. I'm sorry, his second completion of the day. What am I talking about? Second and four now. Bunch set right. They give to win. No. Play action rolling left throws and Smith brings it in he's touched down but what a play to get his second catch of the day with a great adjustment on the ball that last play flips the field position now into Denver territory Driscoll keeps it again dropping back rifles and that should have been intercepted by Sternad a missed opportunity for Denver but you can't miss the easy ones like that halfway through the third quarter now second and ten Hand off Williams, hold middle, and taken down by Locke once more after a decent game for the third year back. Now we are back to third down, needing seven to convert. They go empty. Driscoll gets. Waiting, patient, hit as he throws, and it lands in the dirt. The pressure brought by Mike Purcell to force the fourth down. Arizona wants to stay out there. It's the preseason, and they want to see how the offense responds. They snap. Driscoll floats it left. McBride gets reaching forward and they say no good he is marked just short some great coverage from Locke forces the turnover on downs a good idea from Driscoll to put some air on it here but the ball was not where it needed to be so McBride had to come back for it and he nearly got enough to get back to the line but not the case here that will bring out the Bronco offense once more and Stidham needs to put together a good drive here he hasn't had much to show besides the field goal to end the half. They take over where the Cardinals stopped on the 29. Stidham steps up under center. He gets, gives to Perrine. They send Blitz and they get home. The tackle for a loss goes to Sasha Ray on the play. That goes down as a loss of four. Now a second and 14. Ball is snapped. Pressure coming. Stepping back. He gets it away. And DeBay can't hold on. A great hit from the recent veteran acquisition, Xavier Rhodes. Another poor start finds them staring down another third down, needing 14 for the first. Stidham gets, pocket collapsing, he rolls out, slings it deep, looking for Callaway, and it's knocked away. Another big play by Sasha Ray. Another stop to force the punt, and one of the best performances of the day for Arizona has been Corey Clement, averaging 5.8 on 8 carries and an 11-yard grab to add to it. Starting on the 35, Williams stays the lone back, Driscoll drops back, he escapes the pocket, sprinting right, and he throws as he's hit. It falls incomplete. He has to be able to find someone there. He gets back under center now, second down. He gives to Williams, who moves left, and cut down after a few. Another solid run for him. 
Nothing explosive so far on the day, but now we have third down. Seven yards needed for the first. Standing on the 38, Driscoll gets. Looking, slings it right, and off the mark. He was looking for McBride on the play, and that was a good matchup. And McBride against Locke, but the incompletion forces the punt. Sidham returns, now starting on the 20. Perrine is in as the lone back. Troutman motioned. He sets a block, handoff. Up the middle, pushes away White, resets, and he is sent down for crossing the 30-yard line. And moving the sticks on the first play of the drive. Denver now up to the 32, 12 yards in the carry. Now they go past. Sidham fires right, has his tight end, who is brought down near the sideline after hauling it in near the 40. That is seven yards picked up on the catch, now approaching midfield. What is the call? Another pass. Stidham moving back, throws as he's hit. Mims tried to lay out for it, but just out of reach. Led better in on the QB hit. Another third down for Denver. Still needing three. They go empty. Stidham gets. Rifles right. Has a bidet, but it's no, it's knocked away. The veteran Rhodes lead the big hit to knock it out. That is a fourth down stop. Another punt. Arizona's offense comes back out starting on the 18. Driscoll is set. He gets. Gives to Williams. Big block from Howerton, and he meets a double team at the 21 to send him down. And now it's second and seven. Driscoll drops back. Here we go. I lied. There we go. Steps right. He takes a shot, and they say he has it. He finds Wilson for a big chunk of yardage downfield with his second reception of the day. And what a play this was. A breakdown in coverage from Denver. Driscoll sees it last minute, puts it up. And Wilson does a phenomenal job getting those feet in bounds and getting his team past midfield. That catch officially goes for 31. Now in the Bronco 48, they hand off to Williams. Cuts left, and Jewel gets off the block to bring him down before he broke that one open. Under two minutes left in the quarter, they go two receivers right. Two receivers left, one right. Driscoll gets the snap. He rifles left. Finds McBride, breaks up a row, and ripped back by Moss just before he crosses the marker. The big stop brings us to third down, needing one yard for the first. Bunch set right. They go run. Williams up the middle, picked up and thrown down. But he holds on through the ground, and that moves the sticks for his squad. A big third down run. New set of downs now on the Denver 31. They snap. He throws it left. Half Wilson has another, turns the corner on Moreau, up the sideline and finally driven out of bounds inside the 10. And he is having a very, very big game today. He got a step on Moreau and made it so easy for Driscoll to hit him on the crossing route and pick up big yards. Now Arizona is goal to go. Standing on the seven, they decide to go empty. Ball is snapped. Denver sends heat. And Driscoll goes down, and it's the sixth-year linebacker, Josie Jewell, who gets in on the sack. Not the play you want this close to the end zone, but that will bring us to the end of the third quarter with the Cardinals ready to extend this three-score lead once more. We start our final quarter of play with the Cardinals in a second and goal. Backed up to the 18, following the sack by Jewell. They give the win... No, play action, rolling right, sets, fires, and this is knocked away. Moss with some very good coverage on Dortch. An incompletion means it is third and goal. Still 18 yards out, can they find a way to get the touchdown? Driscoll gets the snap. Rifles, deep left, and this one is knocked away. And he was looking for Dortch again, but Moreau did well to come back in assistance. And in the spirit of the preseason, they're going for it again. Needing 18 to get something out of this drive. Driscoll gets. He waits. He's hit as he throws. And it falls incomplete. A massive play by Browning to get it on the hit. Because Wilson had just broke open in the end zone. And he saw it. A very clean hit. In time. No roughing the passer. Good call by the refs. And that brings out a Denver offense that has been poor all day. Only producing three points on the entire day. Can they finally get something going? They start on the 18. Troutman lines up as a receiver as they go empty. Stidham gets. Looking. Unloads. Down the right sideline. And it's knocked away by Matthew. Great work to force his man against the boundary. That incompletion means we move to second down. They snap. Stidham. Quick fires left. Beatty has it. But it is out of bounds. Great coverage by, by White to force him out again. 
That is two straight incompletions. Now a very quick third down to avoid yet another three and out. They snap. Cards blitz. And Stidham cannot get away. He is sacked by the former Packer, Chris Barnes. And can you believe the explosion we just saw from him? They decided it was time to send heat. And Stidham tried to get away. But when you can fly in as fast as Barnes, the quarterback just has no hope of survival. They now have to punt with Dixon standing well in his own end zone. He gets, sends it away. Buscelli is back to receive. He takes from the 50 and he's brought down very quickly at the 45. Only five yards on the return. And now for our final quarter of play, here comes the Cardinals final QB, David Blau. Let's see what he can put together in this final quarter. His first drive starts already in enemy territory. They go with a single receiver wide left. They're set. Blau gives to Ingram. Falling forward and down at the 41. And his first carry for the second year back goes for about four. They stay with the same formation on second down. Three tight ends. Blau get, drops back. Sliding right. Dumps to Ingram. Past the marker and sent out of bounds after getting the first. And now they've gotten all of their backs involved in the run and pass game. Now up to the 32. Under 10 minutes left. Give to Ingram. No. Play action. And he has nowhere to go. Sack on the play made by safety, Caden Stearns. And that play rolled him straight into the hit. The left tackle Jones did not pick him up off the edge. And that left his QB a sitting duck to go down. Just a rough play. That will go for about a loss of eight. Now back up to the 40. What will they do? Blau gets. He decides to step up. Gets a block and dives forward. Mark down at the 31. Good instincts on the scramble there. He ends up picking up about nine, but it's now third down. Nine more will move to six for them. And they decide to give to Engram. Has a hole and ripped down by Jewel. Well short of the line to gain. And that is another missed block from the O-line. And they decide they're going to keep the offense out there. Fourth down, needing six. Blau gets. Slings in middle. Finds Togi, and he's in. Touchdown, Cardinals. And that is the third string tight end, Noah Togi. And on this one, he actually beat Simmons off the press, found the space in the middle of the field, and gives Blau an easy pitch and catch for the score. Prater for the extra point is up and good. And that extends the lead once more to Cardinals 31, Broncos 3. Here comes the Bronco offense to respond, and they have to be ready for this one to be over. They just haven't been able to put it together all day long. Just over eight minutes remaining. They start the drive on the 25. Bunch set right. Stidham drops back. Fires middle. He finds Troutman, who holds on through tight coverage from Simmons to get them up near the 40. A great catch to start. That goes for about 14. Fady now enters the game. They stay pass. Throws middle, and another tough grab. In close, tight coverage. That one, that time, goes to Mims on the grab. They say he's just short, though. It's second and inches. Stidham gets. Fires. Troutman gets another. And it's just enough to move the chains. A good, simple play there. That gets them across midfield on the Cardinal 49. They snap. It's a screen. Gets the BD. And defender slips the block. Brought down quickly, but they are moving well now. Good stint of momentum here. I'm sorry. Four yards on the screen. Second and six now. Ball is snapped. Pressure coming. Dumps it off. And Parida is wrapped up by White in the open field. Tough force. Third down. Now they find themselves on the 42. Needing three more to convert. On third down. Snap for Stidham. He throws. And it's incomplete. A miscommunication. He was looking for Beatty out of the backfield. But none to go. Sean Payton says to leave them out there. Going for it on fourth. Needing three. Stidham gets. He fires short. And he has Callaway wide open. Goes up the middle. And gets a few more before being sent down by multiple defenders. It looks like he's a little shaken up once more. And that may have very well ended his day. However, that is a successful fourth down conversion. So the drive continues. Stidham drops back. Ledbetter breaks through. And he puts him down. Stidham is sacked by Jonathan Ledbetter. What a play in the fourth quarter of action. Just when things were starting to come together for them, they lose the battle in the trenches, and Ledbetter gets in to put him down. A dominant display from the D lineman there. 
eight yards lost on the sack. Backed up to the 36. They stay pass. He tosses left. Has Beatty up the sideline and out of the 25. A solid pickup to make this a manageable third down. They go back to the 25, heaving seven for the first. They decide to go handoff for Perrine. And he's met immediately. Nowhere to go. Met by the 41st overall pick. BJ Ojulari finally making his impact on the day. He broke through, kept his eyes on the ball, and met his man in the backfield. They lost four on the run. Now they're staying out. Going forward on fourth. Stidham gets. Fires middle. And it's batted down by Rhodes. And that is a turnover on down. Possibly the final drive of the day. Cardinals start on the 29. Under four minutes left. They start with a run. And Ingram is brought down in the backfield. A little payback delivered by Awuzurike. And now Ingram is starting to stall a bit. Two lost on the previous play. Blau steps up under center. They go stretch right. Ingram met quickly again. Only finding his way back to the original line of scrimmage. That means we now have a third down. Still needing 10. Just outside the two-minute warning. Blau gets. It's a screen. Ingram has it. A pancake downfield. Major space. Stiff arms and forced out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. And we need to take another look at this block from Howerton. What a display of strength. He gets out well for the screen. Locates his target. And boom. Puts him to the floor. New set of downs now. Five yards from midfield. They give to Ingram. Wait, no. Play action. Decides to switch it right. Moving wide. Takes a shot. Looking for Brewer. And it's batted down by Gregory. And he's just trying to give his guy a shot there. Second and 10. Great play at the audible on that one. They go back to the run. Up the middle. And wrapped up at midfield. And that will bring us to the two-minute warning. Arizona ready to close this game out with a single first down. We return with the Cardinals in a third and five situation. A first down lets them run this clock out. Blau gets. He decides to roll out right. Browning coming. He throws. And it flies out of bounds. Good pressure to force the throw away by Browning. Now here it comes. A fourth down. Five yards lets them end this game. They snap. Togiyi. Gets, and he's stopped just short by Jewel. A phenomenal tackle, and the Cards will not be able to run this one out. Broncos instead take back over, standing four yards from midfield. Stidham gets nothing open. Pocket collapsing, and as he throws, and it flies out of bounds. And Ojulari breaking through once more for the QB hit. Minute 45 left, second and 10. Stidham gives to, no, play action. Standing tall, he throws a strike, and too far out of bounds. Another incompletion, another third down. Still needing 10. What's the call? Stidham gets. He decides to load up, taking a shot, and is knocked away by Williams. And he was once again looking for a returning Callaway. Can they make one final stop? Fourth down, needing 10. They snap. He goes with another deep shot and nearly intercepted by Sasha Ray. It should have been, but that is a turnover on downs either way. And we can bring an end to this game as with a David Blau kneel. The Cardinals have stormed the in their first preseason game, a dominant win, 31-3 over the Broncos in dominant fashion. Much to take away from this game. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you back soon for the preseason week one news episode. I will catch you all then.